Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good evening. It is the Earth Master back here on this Monday night, May 8th, 2023. It's about 10 11 p.m. here, Central Time, in the state of Texas. The latest earthquake activity shows some movement down into the Southern California area uh, with a couple smaller microquakes kicking off here just off the San Andreas Fault uh, and also on the uh, what looks like the north side here of the um, San Bernardino Mountain section, San Andreas Fault area. Uh, small, very small microquake activity, but still a little bit of movement taking place there today. Uh, also up north into the Pacific Northwest, do have a little bit of activity across the Cascades, kicking in. Uh, looks like around the Mount uh, Rainier area, some very small microquakes at that volcano, uh, along with it looks like maybe some type of explosion going on up here north of Mount Rainier. Uh, Yellowstone National Park, not, not seeing anything showing up there, but here's the latest map here uh, being listed. Doesn't doesn't look like much is going on. All right, across the rest of the area here, Texas, Oklahoma, uh, about the same as we've seen over the past couple days, just very small microquake activity in Georgia. We do have a 2.5. Uh, that earthquake coming in early this morning, it looks like. Um... Yeah, kind of an odd one. Don't see too much earthquake activity out there. Uh, let's see here. The big island of Hawaii. Movement uh, mostly confined there to the Kilauea Volcano area. Uh, where it still looks like uh, quite a bit of movement taking place there. In the region of that volcano, let's go ahead and check out the uh, hazard notification system here from the USGS. And uh, get just a better uh, article here on this. Let's see HVO. Kilauea Daily Update states that the volcano is currently not erupting with no active lava since uh, March 7th. Uh, looks like the uh, summit region is still tracking some gradual inflationary uh, to flat tilt at this time uh, while summit seismicity remains slightly elevated so no significant change is currently taking place uh, other than the continued earthquake swarm around the area. The uh, western pacific out here uh, very minimal activity here on the map today. Uh, looks like for the most part the uh, general activity has been over here um, across portions of the Middle East down into the Arabian Sea. Uh, quite a bit of movement over here in the African uh, region as well. Uh, let's see what we got down here across Papua New Guinea. Looks like we did see a 4.9 uh, Solomon Islands and also a 4.5 Maluka Sea area. Other than that, uh, most of the movement across the uh, Indonesia area. As far as the GeoNet servers go, I'll bring these guys up here real quick and see what's going on. 4.1, five hours ago, looks like South Island area. Um, shows a weak earthquake, but it was felt. About 80 total felt reports here. Mostly on the weak uh, to light shaking. Uh, but other than that, um, let's see what we got here across the earthquake drums. I'm not seeing any large scale events taking place here. Just a little bit of activity around North Island and a couple smaller quakes there into the South Island area. A glance at some volcanic drums here will give us a uh, look here at the region, hopefully, maybe. It's a little slow. Service may be a little spotty out here. All right, we'll go ahead and move on um, from that. See what we got over here across areas of Afghanistan and right around the Himalayas here too. We did see a 3.8 being reported by the USGS. A little odd one there, uh, but uh, 4.2 Eastern Afghanistan. And uh, again, some movement going on down south here into a couple of the uh, well, rift zone up here but we did have a uh, 4.7 earlier this afternoon um, down south a little bit uh, south of the uh, Democratic Republic of the Congo region Atlantic Ocean fairly calm fairly clear not a whole lot going on same for the uh, South America region as well 4.4 into Bolivia earlier this evening somewhat deep 236 kilometers deep for uh, for that earthquake 
for the solar ham site space weather activity we are looking at a uh, pretty nice proton event kicking up right now with the polar regions north and south all being affected uh, fairly drastically uh, this will affect some uh, high frequency communications and low frequency navigation systems uh, so if you are down there in that area that's uh, what uh, will be going on there i believe this is coming off of a uh, Let's see here. I know we had some flaring activity earlier. Might be coming off some of this uh, solar flare activity that we've witnessed here the past um, couple days. Looks like we did have another M flare earlier this afternoon. Um, far as the adjustment to the three day, looks like G1 class storms possible here over the next couple nights at least from a, uh, a possible earth directed CME. Uh, actually have potentially two of them uh, so we'll keep an eye on that right now it looks like there is um, a flare going on here from one of these sunspots very bright feature here uh, that is uh, the UV filter showing that activity from sunspot region looks like that's gonna be 3996 over here latest imagery shows that region here with a fairly complex uh, a couple different cores there in that sunspot that's been a little bit on the active side here over the past couple days with a, a couple different M flares we do have a regional sunspot way eastern side of the sun that we're watching here in the coming days uh, right now 99 percent chance for C flare M flare at 55 elevated activity here for a 20 percent possibility for X flare due to uh, 3297 and 3296 harboring uh, some advanced uh, features there in, in their magnetic structure. Proton event, of course, 95%. That's uh, obvious looking at the global delayer map. All right, folks, um, aside from that, uh, weather activity tonight doesn't look too active here. Uh, across portions of Texas, a slight risk, and also up into the uh, areas north of the region tomorrow. Looks about the same. It's just been an ongoing event here of some uh, afternoon and early evening thunderstorms across the southern plains. Looks like this is stretching up north, though, into Kansas and uh, Oklahoma as well for uh, tomorrow and the next day. All right, folks, have yourself a wonderful evening. I am out. It's been a, a long, long day. Um, I'm going to be out here in Texas for a little bit longer, uh, and then we'll be, be uh, back on the home front there. Uh, at the Earth uh, Earth Master office. Have a good night. Say good night, Missy Mimi's. Good night, guys. Have a good one. We'll catch you guys back here sometime tomorrow. Take care, everyone.